All right, y'all, what's going on, man? Welcome back to the channel. Holy crap, I haven't said that in a long, long time. And that's because there's been a lot going on. Uh, most people already know what I'm gonna talk about. It's gonna be in the title. It's gonna be in the thumbnail, pretty much. My car got stolen. But not only did my car get stolen, there's so much that has changed in my life. I haven't made a video in eight months, maybe. And that's, um, there's a lot of reasons for that. And I'll go, I'll go over that, you know, no big deal. Um, so we're going to start this video out kind of from the beginning. I started off with the Charger on the uh, on the channel, and then I went into a Camaro. The Camaro, we all knew the motor blew, and I rebuilt the motor. Got the car running. It was running decent. The problem was I was never really happy with how I ran. I always thought it should be faster. You know, I, I maybe I had my expectations too high, but I always thought it should be faster. I didn't know if it was tuning related, whatever. And then the trans started slipping. Well, then once the trans started slipping, I lost basically all hope. Then I found a new tuner. He fixed the trans issue. Car was running pretty good. Uh, I can't complain. It ran pretty good all summer. I didn't race too much just because I wasn't confident with the car. Like, I'm going to be honest with you, it was a mid 10 second car. You know, and I, I thought it was going to be faster than that. And maybe I didn't have the right parts, maybe tuning. I'm not, I'm not here to blame anybody, you know? But, um,. Yeah, car didn't really run all summer. I mean, it ran all summer and it ran great. I drove it every, you know, almost every day. Uh, I love that car. That car's my baby. But I was never completely satisfied with the car. And then once I started getting more modifications, I got like the over, uh, OTR intake. By the way, I'm going to be posting pictures and videos. It might be like cell phone pictures or footage, whatever, of the car. Uh, just because I didn't record on my GoPro. But back to the story so i got more stuff it started becoming faster and faster now let's get to the story let's get to the point where they stole my car now i put the otr intake on and my tutor told me don't race it's not running right right now don't race it i said all right bet so what did i go do i went out and raced it well the one day i raced it i was racing my buddy because he beat me and i was like you know what nah he beat me the one time like a couple months ago and I was like, no, 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 no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna race him, and I'm gonna beat him, you know. So I raced him. Car dug hard, and it started pulling on him like crazy. I was like, yo, you know, what do they say? I, they say the car runs better than ever right before it breaks, and I, that, that's what happened because I passed him up in the quarter, and I just couldn't believe it. He was like, nah, you didn't pass. I was like, I, nah, I definitely passed him. I was catching him hard. Now the problem is. Right at the end of the quarter, boom, smoke, smoke blew. I didn't hear any metal shavings or anything, anything like that. But right away, I assumed my motor blew. Just, you know, tuner told me not to race it. Uh, so it wasn't tuning's fault. It wasn't anything like that. I was told not to race it, and I raced it. Uh, the whole time, I thought the motor blew. And, you know, I, I told people the motor blew. Looking deeper into it, I really think that it was a rear main seal. No metal shavings. Uh, blue. There was no hole in the block, uh, and I always had a, re a leaky rear main seal. Always. I always had to put oil in it every week. If I drove it two, three times a week, I had to put oil in it. Should I have got it fixed? Yeah, but I knew I was gonna, you know, fix it later on, so not a big deal. So the rear main, oh, the rear main seal. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Broke. So whatever. That was probably September, end of September, maybe beginning of October. Not even sure. So the car sat for like a month trying to figure out what my next move is. Uh, I decided I'm going to switch my cam out. I'm going to go to a GPI Track Attack High Ram cam. So I bought a new cam. Uh, started buying new parts. I got a 15-inch conversion. I had uh, beadlock wheels. Everything ready for this damn car. I bought a brand new hood right before it got stolen. Probably like two weeks before it got Maybe even a week before it got stolen. I am saying I got my car stolen. Well, so this is the thing that a lot, a lot of people don't know because I didn't put it online. The day my car got stolen, I think it was November 2nd, it was actually supposed to get picked up by a tow truck that day to go to my buddy's shop to get the new cam, rear main seal fixed, everything fixed on the car. Um, and a lot of people don't know that, but so when the night hit, you know, I, the night before I put my cam in the car, uh, I had all, most of my camera equipment, not all of it, but I had like two GoPros in there. You know, some other stuff. Uh, my new cam, the new hood was on the car. I had all my wheels, all, you know, the VMS wheels. 
And all the people that were saying I got my car stolen, why would I put my new cam in there that I just spent $400 on? Why would I keep my new hood on when I had a cut hood in my living room? Why would I keep my VMS wheels on? I would have just put my stock wheels back on. You know, there, there would have been so much I would have done to that car if I wanted it to get stolen, you know? Whatever, not a big deal. Can't, can't let those people that said that piss me off. But So that morning, it was supposed to get picked up at 10 a.m. Now that morning at 7 a.m., my roommate Shane woke me up and was like, hey man, your car is gone. They picked it up early. I said, what? Why would they pick it up early? And I look outside and I see glass all over the floor. I'm like, yo, they didn't, they didn't pick my car up early. They stole my car. Now, I later found out it was not, the person that was supposed to pick my car up was not the person that stole my car. They were not those people. Uh, I made sure about that. So someone, I'm guessing on my Snapchat probably or something, knew that I was getting my car picked up that night so they had to steal my car. They picked my car up with a tow truck, they hit the neighbor's car, and basically stole the car. I didn't, I looked all over. I tried going all the shops to camp for cameras. The liquor store across the street let me watch some of the footage, but then told me to get out after. Then the, it was called Mount Greenwood Auto mechanic whatever he I went over there in the morning I was like hey man someone stole my car can I go can I see the footage because he had cameras all over that damn building he was like yeah give me a little bit let me get it together I said all right cool so I went you know looking around walking around not thinking much of it you know four o'clock comes around I, I hear nothing I was driving around people were giving me leads on where the car was they said it was driving around it wasn't drivable but I was still following the leads I was trying my best um, so four o'clock comes around I get home I see the, the guy finally returned back to work. He was like the manager or owner. He returned back to work after being gone the whole time. So I, I went over there right away. I said, hey man, can I see that footage now? He said, yeah, but just so you know, last night footage was gone. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, from 12 to five, that footage is gone. The mechanic must have turned it off. I said, why was your mechanic there at 12 o'clock? That makes no sense at all. So I don't know if he had something to do with it, whatever. But I looked at the footage, the footage was gone. 12 to 5 a.m., whatever, footage was gone. So, whatever, my car got stolen, you know, I, I really, if I would have found it, I would have found it, if I would have found it, probably, you know, I did find it, but it was either gonna be not drivable or probably crashed or something and I would have to repair it. At that rate, if they stole it, get rid of it. You know, I let my insurance go, I had insurance, no big deal, uh, which is cool. Thank God I had insurance. They didn't pay me out what I wanted to, which is another reason. Why would I get my car stolen? I didn't have modification insurance on it. You know, I um, I didn't get all the money that I had into it. So why would I get my car stolen? It just, it makes no sense. Whatever. So moral of the story is that's pretty much the point. It got stolen by a tow truck. I don't necessarily know who it was. I have a very good feeling I know who it was, but I'm over it that car's gone we got a new car uh it took about a month or two to get the new car this thing's gonna be killer man it's it's a beauty I, I posted it all online so if you follow my social medias you'll know that you know i got i got a car so that's gonna be the next video the next video is gonna be the new car but i just wanted to explain what happened to my camaro how it got stolen i'll put some video footage in here some pictures uh they did some foul stuff they wrote on the car, once I when I when I heard they found the car, they found it no engine, no trans, took everything from it. Someone on the top wrote F U Ant. I'm like, so obviously it was someone that knew me, but whatever. That part's over. I wanted to get this video out there. I wanted to explain everything that happened. I wasn't able to do it on my channel, and uh, I want to say I'm coming back to vlogging, coming back to making car content. It's been a long time. They stole my GoPros. I finally had to get new GoPros. I had to buy a new car. Uh, there was a whole lot of things. I was gonna change up my whole setup on my Camaro to where I was satisfied to make videos again because I don't like recording other people's cars. I like recording my car. So, and if I wasn't satisfied with my car, I couldn't make the videos that I really want to with the enthusiasm that, with, with fake enthusiasm, acting like it's the fastest car in the world. Like I thought it was gonna be. Maybe not in the world, but you know what I'm saying. I don't know. I went on a big rant. Uh, that's pretty much what happened. You know, it's sorry about the dull 
video of just me driving and recording, but I don't have the Camaro and there's no other way to really record this. I had to get this video out the way, let everybody know what happened. Um, if you guys are still here, man, please, please, please like this video, subscribe to the channel. Man, I don't think you guys realize how much subscribing, liking, commenting, all that stuff helps. But we got a new car. That will be the next video. We got a 360 camera with the big like two foot pole. That's gonna be put on the back of the camera for future videos. We're stepping it up. We are definitely stepping up the quality, stepping up the videos. And 2022 is gonna be a year, I promise you. We're gonna work this year. We are really gonna work. My goal, 10,000 subscribers. I'm at almost 5,000. We're right there. I might even be at 5,000 by now, but we're right there. I just got to be more consistent and you guys got to watch. So if you can share this, like this, do what you guys got to do. Help me grow, help us grow. And uh, I appreciate everything. Have a good one, y'all. Yo, they stole my car. What the fuck? Someone stole my car. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look at they hit the neighbor's car. What the fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck! Ooh, they crashed the side of it. They didn't leave anything. Scratched it. Look at this. How the hell does that happen? Broadcast on, uh, they fucking know me. That's wild.